Hey guys, how's it going? Um, today in this post I'll be discussing another TED Talk. This one is titled Kirby Ferguson Embrace the Remix. So like the last one, I'll be discussing the five main points that Charles places emphasis on. And uh, yeah, love to hear what you guys think. So number one, um, infringement can be, mis can be mistaken for a remix. And um, he classifies remix as copying, transforming, or combining previous elements to create a new element. Number two, Ferguson believes that everything is a remix and uses multiple examples of similar sounding songs to, to, to depict this phenomenon. Um, he uses examples of folk singers such as Bob Dylan, um, who is said to have very similar music uh, to other artists as well as traditional folk um, works. Number three, patent law oftentimes goes against what it was originally intended for as stated by the Patent Act of 1790. Um, which is an act to promote the progress of useful useful arts. Um, yeah, patent law oftentimes doesn't allow for um, progress in useful arts because um, laws for, like for trolling patents are very stringent. Number four, um, he states that great artists steal, but not from me. And he uses this as an example um, in reference to Steve Jobs um, when he publicly in 1996 states that stealing ideal, uh, ideas was shameless and that his group uh, practices this act. Um, however, he later condemns Android in 2010 um, by stating that they use a stolen product. So um, he shows um, a little bit of hypocrisy in Steve Jobs' statement um, and states the fact that many people like to steal um, ideas but not when it's being stolen from them. Uh, number five, we have Ferguson concludes with the final thought that creativity comes not from within, but is dependent on one another. He says that creativity comes from other spheres of influence, other ideas that have been previously um, had and expanded upon. So, yep, those are the five main points from this TED Talk. Let me know what you guys think.